So now in this video we're going to look at a 555 timer wired in a stable mode. So the red and the blue LED are just going to keep alternating back and forth uh, forever. That's what a stable means, no stable uh, state. We could also call it a uh, multi-vibrator. So when the output's high, red LED is lit up, the capacitor is charging through the 10K resistor and the diode right there, 100 microfarad capacitor. When it hits two-thirds supply voltage, the output goes low and the capacitor discharges through that 10K resistor to pin 7 which uh, goes to ground. It uh, discharges. We'll look at the schematic to help uh, clear that up. So, as I said before, while the capacitor is charging, like when you first apply power, it uh, goes through the 10K resistor, the diode, and charges the capacitor. At that time, the output is also high. It has to go through a couple transistors, so um, you lose about a volt and a half. But in any case, uh, the red LED will light up. When it gets to two-thirds of the supply voltage, pin 6 will uh, sense that. Then pin 7 connects to ground, as does the output. Output goes low, blue LED lights up. So uh, the capacitor discharges now through 10K ohms of resistance again because it can't go through the diode. And uh, it keeps discharging until it gets to one-third supply voltage. Pin 2 senses that. It stops discharging, sets the output high to a 5 volt, uh, 3.5 volts, I mean, right there. And uh, since it stops discharging, the capacitor can start charging its way back to two-thirds supply voltage. Just keeps repeating that. Um, of course, if you give a low input to pin 4, uh, close to ground, it will just hold the output low. You don't want that, so we just connect it directly to the positive supply to disable it. 